multiplication with 525 50 75 100 okay there is many other numbers that will going to be like this i will show you few numbers here suppose there is a number you will find somewhere that you have to do 36 into 25 maybe you will find 78 into 75 maybe you will find 66 into 25 or 17 into 5 or 117 into 5 it can be any number right but one thing is very common every time what i'm writing only 5 25 50 75 100 or 125 so if you are finding such kind of number how you are going to do this okay first understand what is the problem behind doing this mental calculation you can't do this because this is two digit number and this is two digit number yes or no yes look at this carefully very important concept still you can't do this because this is again a three digit number and this is what five but you can't do it two digit number two digit number two digit number two digit number so if i can make it this number easy we can do it so i'm going to convert this number into a 36 into 100 upon 4. this 25 can we write down 100 by 4. yes sir. we can write down because if we are going to cancel it out we will get 25 again yes, so we can do this so now because of this writing, I have numbered new number that is 36 into 100 upon 4 and now I can cancel it out 4 times 36 and 9 into 100 is what? So what is the answer 36 into 25? 900. Now you can do it in your mind itself. Look at here. This will become 100 upon 4. Cancel it out, right? After cancelling it out, whatever the number you will get, that is your answer. answer. Right? So this will be 66 into 100 upon. What about 75? This is 300 by? Oh. Four. What about five? Seventeen into five. Ten by two. Ten by two. Into seventeen. Got it. And what sir, about then, two, one sir? Sir, mm -hmm. then it will. Uh, it then two will multiply with seventeen as uh, eight point five. First multiply seventeen into ten. What is the answer? One seven. Divide with two. Eight. Okay. Yes. That you can do also. Eight point five into ten. That is also eighty five. Either way, you are get the right answer. But. If you are following this flow, it will become easy. Okay? I deleted because I wanted to tell you again. Don't worry. Understood? So, the table create karte hain. The table is, if you found something, if the number is, write down like this, number is, then convert. Okay? Agar aapko 5 dikhe, to kya karoge? Convert it into a 10 by 2. If you find 25, then convert it into a 100 by 4. If you find 50, then what is the reason why I'm converting 100 by? Now you may be asking, sir, why we are converting this, right? That is a very valid question. Why we are doing this? Also? We are doing it because we have learned in the 10 point circle that multiplication with 10, addition with 10, subtraction with 10, division with 10, everything is very easy, right? Yes, sir. Here you can see that if we have to multiply 14 into 5, maybe it will be difficult. 36 into 5, maybe it will look like difficult. But if I convert this 36 into 10 by 2, now look at this. 2 will going to cancel it out. 18, 18 into 10 is what? 180. Simple. Yes or no? Yes. And that is the reason we are converting into the multiple of 10. All these numbers are what? Multiples of 10. Very good. Now what about 75? In the case of 75, it will be 300 upon 4. Four. One Next minute. value will be? Next value will be 100. Don't need to convert anything. Only simply put down double zero. That will be your answer. In case of 125, write down 1000 upon 8. So this is the table. Write it down. Convert into. This is the headline. Convert. Now, if I'm going to ask you, tell me the question. The question is 86 into 25. What, what are you going to do? Sir, 86 into 100 by 4. Okay, now um, here the problem is if you are going to cancel it out, 4 to 8, but 6 will not going to cancel it out, right? Yes. So how we are going to do this? Then we will convert it into uh, uh, 8600 and then do Very that. good. Then divide. So in that case, it will become 8 to ja, 8 1 ja, 8 5 ja, 8 0. Understood? Sir, I'll copy 6. So whenever you are not getting the direct division, then you can convert it into a Tell me the next question. The question is 48 multiply by 125. What you are going to do? 48 into 1000 by 8. 1000 by 8. Now, look, 
because you are doing it first time and you have to explain with our process that is the reason you are doing it. in your mind if you know that 1000 by 8 simply divide 8 with 48 in your mind what is the 8 48 will going to divided by 8 6 6 and because of this 3 zero i am putting 3 zero and so, this is the answer and we got the answer in your, in our mind itself are you agree with this good good next question 72 multiply with 125 tell me the question answer correctly in mind ha ah, you can do this if you can sir it is 9000 9000 very good correct next question the then same 72 but this time it will going to be divided multiplied by 25 then what is the answer 36 multiply by 75 what is the conversion 36 into 300 300 by by 4 9 9 3 0 27 double zero what is what if the number is not divisible by 4 suppose the number is 34 and multiply with 75 in that case 34 is there and because of the 75 i am writing 300 by 4 now can you cancel it out no, no it is not cancel then, then we we'll do 34 will going to multiply with 3 simple it will become 10200 and now divide by 4 and it will be divisible so 4 to the 8 2 will be there so 4 5 ja 20 2 will be there 2 5 ja 20 and this is done 0 will be 2 5 5 so this is the topic when you are multiplying by 5 25 25 Hundred and so on. It can be anything. What if the number is two fifty? Simply convert two fifty into what? Thousand upon four, yes. right? Yes. So fifty will be thousand upon. So what our our aim is to convert the number into a multiple of ten, easiest number. This also is a multiple of ten, but that is not a good friendly way to do the multiplication. Try converting into a more friendly way. Okay. Yes. What if the number is three fifty? Seven hundred by two, right? in that way you have to utilize your logic in the next class we'll going to do you want to learn more or should i stop i learn okay